Well, well, well. The Dodgers did another goodly thing in the 2023-2024 offseason. This is Tim Rogers. Yes, it does rhyme with your Los Angeles Dodgers. We're going to talk about lots of things on the Dodgers 2080 experience. So, let's talk about this brand new extension from about Will Smith. This is great. This is truly, truly, truly great news. Super excited about it. Let's look at the contract really quick. 10 years, $140 million extension. I was thinking, you know, five or six years for, you know, 100 to 120 million. I probably got a tweet out there somewhere with something like that. We probably talked about that off and on, off and on. But this is one of those things I really wanted to see. This is this is one of the, my highlights right up there with signing, you know, so many of the big trades, but first off, 30 million dollar signing bonus, 15 million like in November of 2024. Another 15 million in January. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Thanksgiving to the Smith family. Um, you can see the breakdowns. Uh, the first what four years is 13 or 13 or more million, and then it drops down to 9.5 million per year, all the way out to 2023. So that's a really nice contract for a catcher. Catchers wear out. So if we get a good four or five years out of them, it's totally, totally worth it, and I believe we will. Uh, or they will. That's uh, oh, whatever we whatever. Um, deferrals. So he gets it's five million per season. He gets those that five million um, as the uh, you know basically after the contract's over, which is really cool. How'd you like to go? Hey, I'm probably retired now, and now I'm going to get five million a year for the next ten years. Um, just invest that stuff wisely, In fact, especially that thirty million dollar signing bonus. You got to really you got to invest that stuff well. That stuff will grow super well. And Will Smith, set for life. It's generational wealth. Couldn't happen to uh, a, a better guy. I don't know him personally. I've only met him briefly. But um, just every, all indications, he's a really good dude. Got his new family going. And he's set. And he's going to be the Dodgers starting catcher for quite a long time, which is just awesome. I, I, I'm just... The fact that he's a Dodger, I really like that. You know, we lost Seager. We've, you know, a lot of guys that are homegrown, right? Jock Peterson's gone. Uh, Corey Seager's gone. Cody Bellinger, uh, Julio Urias in his own way is gone. Um, and, and some others. But um, some, you know, so Will Smith, and I tweeted it, Will Smith wants to be a Dodger. And that's clear, very clear to me that he wants to be a Dodger. And uh, what more could you want from from a guy to say, hey, I want to be on this team for the rest of my career. So he's a Dodger for life. So, so freaking cool. And so let's talk a little bit about the ramifications. Of course, you know, the ramp, the, the the immediate comments you see are, well, what about rushing? What about, you know, Dalton rushing, Diego Cartaya, Tyron Lorenzo, um, and, you know, I got more. There's, of course, um, Hunter Fiducia and Jesus Galiz, Yainer, Hernan- Yainer Fernandez, not Hernandez. Good Lord. Um, lots of things there. So here's the one thing about all those guys. They're all prospects, and prospects are suspects. We don't know how good they're going to be. We just don't know. And so this is definitely a bird in the hand for the Dodgers. I would think that some of these guys are going to go, hmm. In Dalton Rushing's head, I can just see it in his head, the cloud going, maybe I should start playing a little more third base. Or maybe you just keep grinding it out and Will Smith eventually moves off from catcher someday. Uh, maybe to first when Freddie's done, but you know that's a lot of options. Th- those are options for Lorenzo. Uh, all of them, all those catchers are, are they? You know the ones that are really big hitters. You know the best, the better defensive one. The best one's probably um, Jesus Galiz, in my opinion. 
Um, so who knows? Maybe he does take over for Freddy. Um, maybe he, you know, who knows? But those are problems for the future. And it's the it's not the near future. There's um it's time to win, but it's good to have that foundation. So our top four guys are locked in for at least the next four years, which is amazing. And most of them are locked in for 10 years, except for Freddie. He's got four more. So they are set. They have locked themselves in. And I, I think these are wise contracts. Um, I think this one might be, of all the contracts, this is the best one uh, in terms of wisdom and smartness and all that type of stuff so this is going to be good and um so let's let's go through some of these prospects okay so um diego cartaya um is is a guy that uh you know he had a rough year but he did get better defensively um he did play third base a long time ago he's played a little bit of first so, but he he's definitely not an outfield outfielder. Um, Dalton rushing similar. I don't I don't know if he's ever played third. I I think he'd be a great third baseman or, or great. That's relative. A good one. Um, you know Yainer, Yainer Fernandez playing. I talked to him briefly. Lots of second base, lots of catcher. So that, there's versatility there. I see him as a future utility guy. Um, not a ton of power, but really good uh, hitting skills. Um, I think, you know, overall a, a really solid baseball player and um, just about the best dude in the Dodgers system or w- one of the top guys. Then there's uh, Lorenzo, who I know, you know, this channel was on him first. Straight up, we were on him first. And he is... Um, He's been playing first. He's been playing catcher. He's 20, 21 years old. Young guy. Lots of raw power. And then you got Galiz, who I think has really come on strong offensively. I need to, I'll need i be connecting with him soon. We will interview. And, um, yeah, just really strong defensively and coming on strong offensively. Hunter Fiducia, uh, the man, you know, if anyone goes down, he's, he's going to be up. So now, you know, now is hopefully his time. Um, if not, they need to make a move and move him to another team. That's only fair. He deserves a shot. Um, did I cover him all? I did. So that's the look at the catching situation. Catch situation, good, 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 good hands right now. Uh, Austin Barnes is the backup. Uh, he's Austin. He's there because he's Austin Barnes. Um, well respected all those good things um let's see i'm just seeing what's going on you know well, all those good things about you know that he brings the, the tangibles i know a lot of people don't like him but i'm a fan um i don't you know i don't know how much longer he he's a productive player if if it if at all and so um but yeah the the battles now who's going to be the backup and what type of rotations are they going to do I would really like to see Will Smith uh, catching three of every five days and sitting those other two. Um, can Barnes handle at least the beginning of the season? Let's let's be careful with all that stuff. So that is my thought on the catchers. Let's take a look at the chat. All right, going from the top. Elishiva's in there. It was in the house first. Then we got Showtime LA coming in. Yeah, what an incredible off season. Mr. John Rod, my man Mike Silas in there, Jason Cerruti, great for the Dodgers and Will Smith, great for Will Smith, um, John Rod, yeah, hopefully I answered your questions about the guys in the minors. At the end of the day, it's a battle for those guys. Um, I got that. Oh man, they, those things went out so fast. I only, and I only got a snapback. I didn't get a fitted one, and I didn't wasn't able to get one for uh, my 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 youngest. Um, yeah, let's see if it, this, it, Craig Hay. Good to see you, Elisheva. Yeah, I was nervous, too, about letting Will get away. I'm just so glad they took care of this. Yeah, it is a good deal all the way around. Um, yeah, he just, you know, you can tell he wanted to be a Dodger. Just look at the contract. So let's talk about guys who want to be a Dodger for a second. Straight up. Straight up guys that we know that have taken contracts that 
they probably could have done better. And, you know, Will Smith's just the latest. What about Max Muncy? Chris Taylor? Those are three guys for sure. I think Kike really wanted to be back on this team this year. Um, I think Austin Barnes is one of those guys. He really wants to be be on this team. Um, I would even say Shohei Otani. You know? And I think a bit of Kershaw, too. I think these guys... They really want to be Dodgers. They've all, in some ways, taken um, different types of uh, moves. You know, Tani, uh, I think, wanted to be a Dodger from day one. Um, But that didn't all work out because of the DH. So I really like those guys. I really am fans of the guys that really want to be Dodgers. And, hey, let's, let's be honest. At the end of the day, Corey Seager could have taken less, but he didn't. And, he, you know, some of that was because the union wanted him to to be in there, um, you know, to, to get the best contract. I get that, but he could have stayed. Um, let's see. I want to catch up to what I just saw. Um, we will need a backup catcher soon. Yeah, and it could be it could be a guy like. Yainer for or it could be for Dusha if they if he gets some time this year and can grow because let's also remember this Will Smith Will Smith is now a veteran catcher and so much more solid than he used to be he's strong now he's a very strong catcher uh, I don't know how elite you want to put him at defensively but he's pretty darn good he's uh, no longer he's making the catches he needs to make and doing doing the work he needs to do so. Really, really pleased with his progression as as a major league catcher. Yeah, Yama wanted to be a Dodger. Yeah, good point, good point, good point. Let's see. Well, Mike, you're saying, yeah, Will is a favorite Dodger. Yeah, what happens if he no longer to catch? Yeah, who knows what he does next. Um, you think Rush can get traded? I don't see the Dodgers trading Cartaya when his value is at rock bottom. Yeah, that's true about Cartaya. Um, I think they're going to hold on unless they really need to get somebody. If they see a good move, they got to pull the trigger. So this could be if the Dodgers put it this way. Let's let's go back to um, 2021. The Dodgers knew they had a really good team, and they did. Even with Bauer, the whole Bauer thing, they knew they had a really good team. And so they they traded their number one and number two prospects for Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. I'd do that again, too. It gave them a, a better chance. Just injuries and everything kind of petered out. Say what you will. But um, I can see them doing that again. I can see them taking a couple of their top guys and going, here we go. Let's do this. Um. 14 million AAV. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> awesome. Because, you know, inflation is going to go up. That that salary cap or the luxury tax is going to keep going up, up, and up. And so that stays down. That stays solid at 14 million. So even when he's, you know, just a backup and the old grizzled veteran that he will become on the Dodgers, um, that will be something that he's able to, uh, that they can absorb a lot easier. Let's see. Ryan R. I hope they find a shortstop soon. Mookie was brutal to watch a shortstop, especially in the last game. I fortunately did not see the last game. I was busy at work. Very concerned about missing the game tomorrow because of work. Um, hopefully not, but I think I got a bad feeling. So hopefully when I, I don't do the thing when I woke up game two, an hour into the game, and it was nine to two bad guys. So hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> um... Let's see. And S is in the house. Yeah, the shortstop thing, you know, as we all know, Willie Adamas lurks. Okay. Okay. Someone on Twitter said we need to lock up Josue DePaulo with the 26 year deal. Uh, yeah, his agent is Scott Boris. Um, Josue, though, did you all see it? Did you all see it? He's really special. Do you all see Kendall George? You guys see some of these players? Zaire, Hope, wow. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. So um, that brings me, I want to look up something. Uh, 
let's see. Let's see, was this it? No. Wow, I did a article for DN back in 2019 about some catchers. Let's see, here it is. Let's see, do we have... Yeah, this was before we knew how good Will Smith was. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm just going through this thing here. Ah, I can't find that article. Yeah, I wrote something that where I interv I'd interviewed with, uh, oh, here it is, analyzing the minor league catchers. All right, we're going to pull this up. This was written in November of 2018. I actually interviewed Drew Saylor, who was the manager at Ranch Cucamonga. I was fortunate to run into him uh, last week. Um, so Kieber Ruiz was kind of the high guy, ETA 2020, which was true. He did debut in 2020, hit a home run in his first at-bat against the Angels. Um, Drew Saylor talked about his cleanliness of his swing, bat ball approach resembling Victor Martinez. Um, defensively, Saylor spoke of his soft hands, tools, and baseball IQ. Um, let's see. Will Smith, ETA mid-2019. I got that one right. Um Offensively, he see, he see, it seems he struggles a bit at different times. AAA was extra tough on him in 2018 with only with one, 138, 206, 218, 425. Oh, my gosh. And in AA, though, he was really good. Defensively, Drew Saylor raved about his electric arm. Continued improvement in his receiving. His blocking is strong, and his catch and throw is elite. Offensively, Saylor spoke about how he had grown a lot. That really began to show in double A as he hit 19 home runs and just 265 at bats. And then I wrote, I hope he can cut down his strikeouts. I hope, with, as with many Dodgers, versatility is valued and Smith plays a good third base. That's what this he used to and can even play second in a pinch. He also has above average sprint speed. Um, what we know, what we really want. Oh, Will Smith, the lefty facing our Will Smith. Hi, yeah, it could happen as early as 2019 or more Fuyo for you, for you who participate. So that was the write up of Will Smith after 2018, but he did face Will Smith in the 2020 um, championship series. And our Will Smith got the major, major W to help turn around that 2020 um, world championship team. So Kind of cool. Let's see. <laughs> um, hey, I, I, I've got a tweet somewhere, Mike, that says that he would be a better, that Ruiz would be better than Smith. Let's see. Uh, ooh. Got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I wanted to look. Okay, I saw um, Showtime talking about Isaac Paredes and Esquivel Duran. Let's. T I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull those guys up. I gotta spell them now. Come on, man. Come on, man. Um, uh, where is it? Isaac Paredes. You all. I mean, I hope. You know, Mike. Uh, all those prospects, man. I was so disappointed I didn't get a press pass for any of those games. It's like, shoot, we got everyone else in there. You know, and um. And, you know, here's – I'm the guy that actually knows these guys and has covered them and all that type of stuff. So it's a little disappointing. Um, wah, wah, wah. Um, do they have him – now he's a th been – he's a third baseman. So are we talking third base for him? I mean, he had one heck of a season. I don't think he goes too too easy. Oh, he debuted, debuted in 2020. But, you know, this is um, – let me check his fielding real quick. Um – there's very little shortstop, so I don't know. Yeah, I guess if they want to go the whole third base thingy. And then uh, the other young man. Uh, 
where to go, where to go. Is it basically pronounced Ezekiel? Duran, I don't even know where he's at. We have a Duran, Carlos Duran, my man. Um, oh, I see. Third base. Let's see where he's been playing. He's a young and it looks like still. Yeah, he's still young. Oh, geez, yeah, he's still young. So still, still twenty four. Fielding, yeah, we need. I mean, if we get someone, let's get it. Well, he's got some shortstop in there. I don't know how good he is. He doesn't seems to have decent numbers there. So who knows, right? Where did you see that uh, Showtime? Let me know. Yeah, Yama did want to be there. Hopefully, Roki too. Highly recommend watching the Dodgers made 20, 20, 30 minute video on the history of Will Smith as a baseball player. Oh yeah, I gotta look at that. Oh gosh, Nando, preach. Hope the Dodgers like Mike Mikolas and his mustache up for running his mouth. Yeah, no kidding. What an idiot. That was just an idiot. No, he's not an idiot. It was an idiotic thing to say. I don't want to, you know. Um, huh. The, someone was saying that DMAC talked about maybe Matt McClain with the Reds. That'd be interesting because they have Sean, his brother. Matt had some type of a shoulder issue. I wonder if that runs in the family. They've both been having that. Um, interesting. Okay, James Lee. Interesting how Will Smith panned out because he was considered defense first. Yeah. Yeah. Mikey. Hey. Haven't seen you in a bit. Where have you been? So I guess we're going to be trading away all our immediate, immediate catching prospects only to keep minimum wage vets in AAA just in case for the next decade. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, they, they got to trade somebody. They got they got six really good catchers and probably more. That's the other thing. There's probably more we don't even know. Um, yeah, Rockies extend Tovar. Yeah, I know. McCain or Adamas. Yeah, I just I want to know how bad. I know that McCain's out a bit. He would be really fun to have. Um, had him on my fantasy team, so I got a good good up close up close glimpse. Yeah, Kendall George. There's so much speed there. You know, I'll tell you something about Kendall George though. You you saw how fast he was, but. In two steal attempts that I saw in spring training games against the Royals minor league teams, um, my man got thrown out twice. <laughs> so that's about learning how to read the read. You know, read, get a read, get a get a read, read the pitchers, and be able to get that jump. Um, George right now does not does not have similar power to Lux. Lux has actually got a bit more power than you think. Um, I know he didn't show it in 2022, but there is some real slug there. Um, I, I think Lux has 15 in him. George, I'm not so sure about because George is only 19. I think he just turned 19. Question, how many gl- the innings does Glasnow pitch tomorrow? Just keep it at 80 pitches. Just be careful. Let's see. So Kevin Gowdy, who's looked really good all spring when we've seen him, and Jared Carroll. So just cool seeing Jared out there. Um, I only got to see a bit of that. I only saw the end. Kendall George to me is closer to Juan Pierre than Carlos Beltran center field. Um, he's faster than Juan Pierre. Um, and I think he will develop a little bit more power. Juan Pierre was a different type of player and it was different times. They weren't as they were, they weren't asking for walks and things like that. Um, just different. Um, so yes, cool. To, yeah. Cool to see Carlos. Pitching in front of his father, Fabio. How long will Otani be affected by his interpreter? Uh, he'll he'll brush it off. I'm not worried about that yet. Um, even though it is just freaking weird. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry, Sal. Son, sons of yesterday's Dodgers playing baseball simply means we're getting too old. Oh, you're not kidding. No, I was talking to someone at work. A, a new kind of a new college hire, and I asked them, um, "Hey." You know, she was talking about her pops. I go, hey, just going to ask, how old your dad? And she'd said the age. I'm like, oh, he's younger than me by 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 a few years. <laughs> um, oh, thanks for NS on that. 
Will Dodgers for go Adamas next year? Go for Adamas next year? Who knows? Um, someone oh, who's it? My man Cody Snavely made the prediction that the Dodgers will sign or will make a trade for Bo Bichette at the trade deadline, which I really like that idea. Oh, Howard was talking about Paredes. Okay, let's see. Russian going to Tampa for Randy at the deadline. Hepatitis. See you later. I don't know if we need Randy right now. I'd rather. I think if they really got to do something, um, you know, it, it's that that left side of the infield defense. Um, yeah, rushing to Tampa for Randy. Yeah, I don't know, but who knows? I think it's rushing or somebody. I don't, I don't want to call out Dalton because I really like Dalton a lot. He's a good dude and really good ball player. Um, there, there, there will be some, there will be guys moved. And there's going to be top guys moved because they can. Um, let's see. Lux has bat speed, and when he commits, he's he power. Yes, Mr. White. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, just Dodger fans talking about Duran because Seager plays short. Hey, you never know. You know, the Rangers are in it to win it too. So, um, <laughs> okay. Otani is one for eight. He's washed. Yeah any people on the X. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, Boba Shed does sound interesting. But that's just Cody. Cody's prediction. No rumor, no nothing. Um, yeah. Well, the thing is, Juan Pierre also got, he got, he got his, he got picked, he got stopped a lot. He'd steal 60. You look at his numbers, he'd steal 60-ish, but he'd get caught 20-ish. And there was absolutely zero power there. And he really didn't get on base. Um, yeah, Alexander. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we, we've talked, we talked about that a bit about losing, possibly losing Smith and just that idea. Oh, Mr. White coming through. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. What is popping? Well, we got Will Smith for the next 10 years. We got our home, real home opener tomorrow. Tyler Glasnow on the mound. We have a, okay, the lineup. Let's, let's, it should be. Barring, well, there could be an injury to Mr. Hayward because he got pulled yesterday. All right, so it'll be Mo- Betts, Otani, Freeman, William Dilliam. You know, his middle, middle his middle name is Dills. William Dills Smith. So William Dilliam, is, that's from Jeff Snyder. Um, William Dilliam, Max Muncy, Teoscar Hernandez, James Outman, Jason Hayward or someone else, and then Gavin Lux. Yeah, I appreciate you, um, Mr. White. So lots of good stuff popping. When they get Randy Hayward gets demoted to clubhouse presence. Yeah. <laughs> and that includes being on the IL. Yeah. I'm still hoping, you know, I'm hoping that what that my guy Andy Paez, Paez makes a big, big move this year. I think there's a shot. What would trading for a shortstop mean for Lux? Mookie back to the outfield. I don't know. You know, that's the thing. Mookie, they want him at second for a reason. But I think if it comes to the deadline, so let's let's say the Dodgers go, hey, we're making that move. Uh, Mookie is, is not where we want him. We don't want him to be shortstop long term. And they make the Adamas move to tighten it up because they're they might need to tighten up that defense by the end of the year. We've already seen it. Um yeah, for the last two months and and the playoffs, why not? Why not? You know, if they were doing it now, I, I think that, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, Lux has looked pretty decent at second. A couple of things have looked a little shaky, but yeah, yep. Mikey, remember looking at one Pierre stats when I looked like twenty years ago and think, man, this guy's batting average is <laughs> base is practically the same. I know it was pretty much it was. <laughs> yep, William Dill Smith. Yep. Uh, it must be mother's maiden name or something like that. Pa has looked great in spring training. I agree, man. I I only saw a few played appearances of his, but you know, it, up live, um, super good. I've got a ton of B roll that I recorded, so I, I got a ton of video to to start. Uh, I'll start sharing that stuff out periodically. I know I've been doing the little shorts. Um, yeah, Mookie's. Yeah, the whole shortstop thing. I. The concern is universal, I think, on that. Oh, okay, hey, Ryan. Yeah, you're from Taiwan? Oh, very good. Good. I'm a big Taiwan guy. 
Uh, I only follow the Dodgers recently. I've watched other podcasts discussing that Walker has not been the same after that sticky thing has been banned. Is there true any truth to that? Um, so that banning happened, let's call it around May, May or June of 2021. Walker Buehler had a really good year that year until the very end. He he had um, he had that one bad start against the Giants that probably cost him the Cy Young Award, but he was good almost all year. So I I I don't know. Um, yeah, um, let's see. So I I I I don't think there's truth to that, but you never know. There that that equals out because just about everyone was doing it because it it actually does you know the ball, ball slick. I wish they'd legalize some of that stuff. Um, Paez equals a dog. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Big fan of his. Does the Smitty extension mean that they're letting Bueller walk? I don't think so. I, I was, I'm still hopeful that they can work something out with him. I think they just got to see what he's got. But I really want to. I want to keep Walker Bueller too. He's a Dodger, and I think he wants to be a Dodger too. Yeah, hopefully they don't keep Paez in AAA until he's 40 years old with a receding hairline like Bush. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, great point. Can we? When can we have Bueller back pitching? Well, I heard he hit 97 the other day in his bullpen, so that's good news. Let's take it to the cards and sweep him. Yeah, hopefully he don't get rained out. Um Yeah, Mikey, this is, uh, yeah, Lux's value is as a shortstop, straight up. Very good point. He needs to take over, throw, showing on the fields he can catch it, throw the ball to first with accuracy. Yeah, and I think the issue is they're not going to let that happen this year. They're, it sounds they're keeping, they're going to keep him in the major leagues at second base all year. So it would have to be next season that they would do that. So that whole Adamus thing makes even more sense, you know, to, to go make that move and put Mookie back in right field around, around the All-Star game. Ish. Um, Lux has a, a higher ceiling than Steve Sachs. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. Sachs, he was a darn good ball player. They were only hit 94 against live hitters. I don't know. I didn't see. Lux has been doing good at second, so... Yeah, Muncy's going to get all the smoke now. Well, uh, you know. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, I know. Um, I think he still needs to drop more weight. But also, it's just he, there's talent. That, how much talent does he have to be a good third baseman? I don't know. I just want to be average. If he's average, that'd be great. I get, gosh darn it, these... I gotta kill my some of these websites, man. I tell you, I do need to bookmark this. All right, um, yeah, I like some of my old Dodger Nation articles are fun to go go back and look and see how good or bad or they are. They turned out to be. Um, seen anything going on in the Twitter uh, Twitter machine? Nope. Um. Yeah, so far Brazier might not look as fantastic as last year. Who knows? We'll see. Once things get started, uh, he did have to. He had a bad start last year, and um, yeah, he um, he had a bad start last year and ended really good. So we'll see. Um, but I'm a little concerned about the bullpen, just the health, right? Um, when you're relying on old farts like. Um, Daniel Hudson and Ryan Brazier that much. Um, that's concerning. And the fact that Bruce Dar and Trinan are not in there right now is uh, obviously very concerning. So, and um, Vesia, wh wh when's it going to happen, folks? When, when do we get, when do we get, when do we get a good Vesia? I see a little thing about the whole Miggy Road thing. I have not listened. I listened to some of that. I haven't heard Miggy's response. Um, jazz is a punk. 
Mikey, you're just spitting facts. Um, Mr. Mr. Jazz Chisholm makes a, um, a one all-star team, and he gets all this shine. You know, they put him on these commercials and all this stuff. It's just because he's flashy. It It's kind of like they say, shut up and sing. Shut up and do your job. Don't talk about other players. It is a very, very small room there, folks. Boy, if you're talking bad about a guy like Miggy Rowe or anybody, you better be really careful because people are going to go, do I really want that? Do I really want that? Do I want a guy like that that's going to do that? Um, yeah, Lance Lynn called me saying he's scared of giving what a dozen hormones the Dodgers. That might be, what, Saturday night, right? Hey, get your tickets in left field pavilion. No, mostly right field pavilion because we'll have all the lefties. <laughs> Soon I will have a new apprentice, one younger, more powerful. Andrew Friedman on replacing Bueller with Sasaki next year. How about both? Um, I don't recall NL West being this competitive. It's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, it's going to be really good. We're, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, yeah, I love Miggy Rowe. Yeah. Let's see. Anyone go to Raising Canes? I did not to see Mookie. That I just love Canes. So, yeah, M- Miggy's. There's no. Put it this way: If Miggy Rowe was a problem, the Dodgers would have traded him already. That's for sure. So Jazz might want to just uh, earn it, buddy. Earn it. Um, yeah, only guy that should be talking about other players is Vince Scully. No kidding. <laughs> Will the teabag signing Monty, do you think they'll give the Dodgers room for those? Let's talk about that. Um, all right. I'm going to I'm gonna start a little segment, so I'm going to start recording this. 2024 National League West. Let's do some predictions. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. From the bottom, your Colorado Rockies who um, they are building some good things. Uh, with Jones and Tovar, they, they have a, a good start, a foundational thing. We've seen this picture before. They had Story and Arenado, and they blew that. So we'll see. Um, and then, then you've got, coming in fourth, your favorite and mine, with my favorite GM in charge, A.J. Preller, the Padres. Now, I'm not saying the Padres are going to be bad, but they're going to be, you know, they're going to win between 75 and 85 games and still be in fourth, I believe. Um, they, they lost a lot of pitching. Not saying that they're not going to have some pitching, but they're they're banking on uh, you, Darvish, um, not being old. They're hoping that Musgrove is healthy, and they're hoping a lot of these... Oh, well, they got Dylan Cease. They're hoping Dylan Cease bounces back. And they're hoping a lot of these young guys that they got, you know, Michael King and some others, can can fill in some gaps uh, in that rotation. Their bullpen is a lot different. They don't have Josh Hader anymore. It's uh, Suarez as their closer. Uh, they did make the smart move. smartest move was putting Hassan Kim at short where he belongs, and then, um, but the dumbest move is, co- of course, was done, accomplished a couple of years ago or last year when they signed Xander Bogarts, Hugh Darvish, and Jake, Cron- Jake Cronenworth to exorbitant contracts, which caused them to have to trade one of the best hitters in baseball, Juan Soto, for a bunch of uh, talent, but uh, most of it unproven. So, fourth place for your Padres, and they should fire AJ Preller. Third place, I have the Gigantes, um, and I'm really. It's not because of Chapman that doesn't impress me, but Soler and of course Blake Snell. I really wanted Blake Snell. Really wanted him, um, and he's a Dodger killer. They have with, with the Webb and the kid Harrison and Snell. That's a really good three. Probably pr- pretty durable. So, um, yeah, I like them third. Diamondbacks, who you know, eighty-four win team last year, and they're better. Um, getting uh, Montgomery, oh gosh, Montgomery or Snell would have just put the Dodgers way over the top. 
and just giving them a little, nice little uh, extra cushion for the pitching. Um, but yeah, they they look good. They have uh, solid pitching, the one through five. Um, they have they have um, Gallon, um, Kelly, uh, Rodriguez, Montgomery, and um, that fart guy, whatever his name is. Flaff or what flat what the guy was really good against the Dodgers <laughs> and really had a really good postseason. Whatever his name is. Sorry, I don't have my notes. And they, you know, they got they got Mr. Jocktober at DH. Um they've upgraded all the way around. Uh they got uh, Suarez from the from the Mariners, so they're they're a better team. And so um second place and first place I got the Dodgers. Straight up. Um the Dodgers, uh, the weak spots are um, a fragile rotation, but really good. Fat, yeah, fat, puff fat. Um, the Dodgers rotation is really could be really good, but it's also very delicate. Um, the defense, um, the concern with Mookie at short being there long term, uh, and then um, having Muncie at third base defensively, pretty pretty much in trouble, I think. But then. Um, same time, you know, if they work those things smartly, put Rojas at short at the end of the game, put Mookie at second, take Lux out, put Kike at third um, at the end of the game, it might help. Um, but offensively, I think they're going to be really good. Uh, Shohei Otani is a clear upgrade over J.D. Martinez. Um, Teoscar Hernandez uh, is going to strike out a lot, but he's going to hit a lot of home runs. Uh, they dodged out one of the best catchers. And um, – in baseball, who they have, they have the best first baseman. Um, when Mookie's at second, he's the best second baseman. When he's at short, he's top two with Seager. Um, they're they're stacked. So, uh, and they and there's a lot coming. They have a lot to trade if they need to. So, Dodgers one, D bags two, Gigantes or Gents three, Madres four, and the. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Nuggets are going to be fifth. That's it. You can book it. All right. So catch up and catching up in the chat. All right. Let's go see what you guys got. So I'm what I'm doing is some segments, and then I'm doing the chats. Um. see oh let's see still kind of want freed never know uh, is dodger legend zach grenke still a free agent yes he is that'd be interesting if need be right if need be bring in uh bring in the weirdo um but it's it's a weirdo in a good way I have not seen the video where Vince Scully is talking about Sandy Koufax, how he underestimated him. Yeah, I mean, remember Koufax's first five years or so couldn't get the ball over the plate consistently. Yeah, Jazz thing, he's got a chance one on one with Rojas. It's just that's just he's just being it's feeling dumb. No reason to do that. It's just it's just bad bad mojo. All this competition is good for the Dodgers. Yes, prepares them for the Dodgers. It, it's really exhausting to have them win the division in July or August and then go on coast and then die in the playoffs. You want to at least be battling until about the week left in the season, just like in 2020. You don't want to go like 2021. That took them too far. Like 2020, they bat, Padres battled them for until the last week. Dodgers clinched it, lined everything up, rested enough, but still had those competitive juices and were ready to rock and roll. Um, so, yeah, I think it is really good. Justin, you got Dodgers, Giants, Diamondbacks, Madres, LA Minor Leaguers, Oregon State Baseball, Colorado. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Pretty darn close. Michael, you get say there's a kid in the Rocky system, Adele Amador, who's a shortstop prospect. Yeah, the thing is... The Rockies are one of those stupid teams. They won't trade with the Dodgers. The Dodgers could give him Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and Shohei Otani. They go, oh, we're not trading with the Dodgers. We're not going to do that. Um, they're just silly. They're, they're silly. Um, it's really, it's really goofy to do that. You, you worry, you worry about improving your team. You don't worry about the other guys. 
You worry about improving your team, whatever it takes. If you trade with an inner division, you know, the Padres, they thought they were doing the right thing, trading, getting Matt Beatty for River Ryan. I'm glad they misjudged that, but still. Um, yeah, you like the Rock. Uh, Mikey likes the Rockies for footing the bill for the retirement funds of Chris Bryant. Yeah, no kidding. Appreciated him finally getting the Cubs over the hump, so I don't ever hear, want to hear the Cubs fans whine. Yeah. Yeah, but he's yeah he's just a walking injury. Regretfully, Elishiva. Yeah, Dodgers one, D backs two, Giants three, Padres four. Concur. Um, we probably need to trade pitchers because Corsi really don't think they might be worth pursuing. Yeah, um, you think it might be worth pursuing? Yeah, I just don't think they'll do it. James Lee, what do you think of new, Padres new manager Mike Schilt? Well, he had success in St. Louis. Um, I just don't I don't I don't get it though. Why is he better than Bob Melvin? Um, and why was he fired by the, by, by the Cardinals even after making the playoffs? I, I find the guy to be terribly exhausting to listen to. My, here's my big problem with Schilt. He may be a good dude. I don't know. But, man, now that he's a manager, he's going to be on the MLB network on, on the radio when they have their managers, and he, I just cannot stand listening to him. He's just oh, exhausting and just ah, uh, he's 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 just eh, terrible to listen to. Um, yes, yeah, S, S, yeah, you want a Montgomery more than Snell? Yeah, I just want one of them. <laughs> I think it would have helped. I get the whole Montgomery thing though too. A little more solid, a little more consistent, but Snell working with the uh, Dodger pitching lab would have been good. Yeah, San Francisco has good pitching and a pitcher-friendly stadium. Yes. Um, If Steve Garvey wins the Senate seat, we shall make a T-shirt to where it says, Steve Garvey is my pappy. Yeah, I will be, um, not afraid, shame to admit, I will be voting for Steve Garvey. Um, I said I switch it was 30 years late, but I think Mr. Mikey talks right about why that didn't happen 30 years ago. Jock is DH. Hey, Jock is DH, man. Built for that. Built on donuts, powered by donuts. Yep. Yep, Rockies never trading with the Dodgers. Their owner hates the Dodgers. Yeah, it's it's just, and it's silly. The Dimebacks have been that way. Um, Preller didn't want to be that way. And and even, I don't even think, I think, what's his name? Farhan would trade with the Dodgers a little bit. But not not a big move, though. The entire NL West, minus the Rockies, are making moves to counter the Dodgers to stay competitive. It'll be interesting this year. It will be. Absolutely life journey. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch. Oh, how do I feel about yeah Jordan Hicks starting for the Higan the Gents? Um, I think that's a mistake. I think he ends up in the bullpen. I just, I I don't think that's going to work. But they're, they're I think they did it because they didn't they didn't know they're going to get Snell. Yeah, at this pace, Jock is going to be Mister Ashley West because he's got two more teams to join to accomplish that feat. I know. Yeah, oh, I don't want to see him with the Padres. I don't like seeing any Dodgers. Yeah. Um, yet, yeah. okay, good question. Teoscar is our left fielder against righties and probably the right fielder against lefties with either Mr. CT3 or Mr. Kike in left. That's probably what's going to be going down. Um, <laughs> we need to see how Renoa Syndergaard ends up for the offseason to wrap up. That's, <laughs> I just don't see, uh, yeah. Mike says, happy you never know. Yeah. It's camera audio likes it in the video. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that too. I uh, dang it. I was hoping it wouldn't notice, but I guess it does. I've got I gotta kill something here. I'm just gonna kill this web page. Um maybe that'll help. Yeah, it's it's just the there was some stuff in my browser that was causing that. So kinda sorry about that, folks. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's still, it's about a half a second behind it looks like. And I just think there's too much going on in my system maybe. Um, oh, why the heck is TurboTax running? That's silly. That's probably what's killing it.
Yeah. Kill all these things here. Okay, back at it. Um, hopefully it's better. Um, but let's see. Feel this year, Dodgers find the rules of the playoffs. It could, yeah. I, th- th- you know, with a little bit, with some good competition, maybe that'll happen. Oh, there's another one, Mr. White. Gee, you the man. Rotation at All Star break and postseason. Oh boy. Uh, I think after I think Kirsch doesn't come back till after the All Star break, but I think Walker Bueller. So I, I think with the I'm gonna go postseason first. Um Glasnow, Yamamoto, Bueller, and Miller, with maybe Kirsch getting in there. Um that's postseason all star break. I think um, at the All-Star break, Bueller is in there. He'll either knock out um, Stone or, or Paxton. Stone, I really hope he stays in there. Paxton, is just, he's also, you know, he's going to probably um, be be out a bit. He, that's the way he is. He, he gets hurt. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I, I saw that thing that Will Smith was supposed to be the headliner for Mookie at 2019 trade deadline. Yeah, and they, they backed out. That all worked out well because we got them both, huh? Yep, shout out to Charlie Steiner. Get better soon. Hey, I know most all of us watched the 2020 World Series on TV. Go back and listen to the to the ninth inning where Char, the radio call with Charlie Steiner. It's gold. I had a chance to actually this last year. I had a press pass and I saw him and I specifically talked to him and said how great that call was. It was really, really good. Dodgers explicit is in the house. You know when they come in. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Got to be careful with the explicits. <laughs> um, let's see. Season finish has a mad offense. I don't understand show show time. Um, if I was still living in California, believe in brother Tim, I would too be voting for Steve. Yep. Um, thanks for the super chat. Yes. Yep, I voted for Steve. Um, and I just I I agree with him more politically than the other person. I don't agree with him on everything, but in general, where yeah, in fact, I might move out of Oregon. Places turn into a, a yeah. Oh yeah, they legalized all the drugs. That that's a failed policy, isn't it? Um, yeah, they need to fix that. They're 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 going in trouble. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that sound bite. I yeah, I stole that. You know, you've seen that out there. I I stole it from a guy named Ruslan at Ruslan KD. Um, he's a Christian, so heads up. But I really like him. Uh, what is catch timeline? Um, not 20 yeah 2025 so we'll see about that um Dustin May should be coming back sometime in the mid mid season but I don't know if it's going to be as a starter I really believe he'll be a reliever but that could be really good that could help the bullpen Kyle Hurt has made the opening day roster so I'm really excited about that um, they've got some young, you know, I think it was a Grove and Kyle Hurt. So those are um, young potential starters in the future. Yeah. Oh, S- S- San Francisco. F- yeah, they do have a lock Lester offense. Uh, yeah. The, the the Chapman move, that that didn't impress me. It really didn't. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, Gonson 2025. Uh, what time is it? Okay. We're looking good. Got a few views tonight. Sorry about being a little out of sync. Um, bummer. <laughs> I It drives me nuts. Now I'm kind of really freaking out about it. But yeah, I, I kind of noticed that earlier. Um, anything else? We got, you know, opening day tomorrow. Who's going? Anyone going? I can't. Work's just killing me. I will not be... What's, I'm just I'm gonna do a quick weather check for the weekend up in Los Angeles. Um, so, 
Yeah, they're exp- 80% chance of rain on Saturday. Oh, dang. Sunday, 65%. So the Lance Lynn, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, honestly, not sold on Grove. Yeah, he's got to really get it going. Oh, my cap is not in Korean. So I'm going to move in closer. Let's go to this camera here. No, let's go to this one. So then I can see better. Th- that is from the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. That is one of the greatest Dodgers of all time. In his mariachi jacket, Mr. Joe Kelly. There's there's special instead of being the Tremblors, which is so original, they're something else now. I can't remember what it's called. It sounds like it might even be a slang or something like that for uh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to leave it alone. <laughs> This is a, this this is children friendly show, even with the ex- Dodgers explicit guys in here. Um, so that's the hat. I love it. Um, I wish I could get more. We got to get more of the. You know, hopefully they get more of them. They're gonna have more for sale at the at the store. Be their opening day, so you can get one of those. Um, okay, let's see. Source. <laughs> Hep. Willie Adamas was seen departing LAX and subsequently Mookie Betts has reserved an upscale Dominican restaurant in the proximity of Dodger Stadium for up to 50 people. Long live the Toronto Blue Jays. Shohei Otani Friday. Hope Yao Yao does okay. Yeah, he does need one. Yeah. Uh, how many does Lance Lynn give up? It could be a bit. So right now, um, everyone's at, you know, zeros. Shohei's got zero home runs. Lance Lynn has zero. Dylan C says zero. Lucas Giolito is out because of his arm thing. Um, I think Lance has, yeah. <laughs> Lance Lynn, man. You know, he, he, he needs to change his way. That, that guy's a little stubborn. Um, how it comes out is 25 in Japan. I'm, I think it's in some ways it's really cool. As a Dodger fan, I absolutely hate it. And as a fan who wants to do spring training, I absolutely hate it. Um, It just really wrecked things this last year. Um, And it's going to wreck it again for people like like Mike Salas and myself and others, baseball Gale, who try to get press passes, and it gets all jacked up. Why do these small market teams trade their players sooner to get more control over players and maintain longer success? Um, my, I would, I'm going to come back at you, Philip, and go, why don't they just spend some money? Why don't they just spend some money? Pay their guys to stick around. But if you're not, yeah, trade them as zero, trade them at their highest value. Um, which rookie in all of baseball are you excited to see? Um, I, I'm so focused on the Dodgers. I, I'm, I'm more excited to see, uh, Zaire Hope. At Rancho this year than I am about um, just about any major leaguer and and of course um, uh, Kendall George and, and guys like that I don't know if he's gonna be at Rancho but um, so many guys um, Friday December 8 2023 probably took 10 years off my life but it's all good now <laughs> yeah it's greatest greatest yeah it is December I kept thinking it was December 11th December 8th um, yeah that's hmm that was John Lennon's um, day he was assassinated. Dang, I hate that day. Uh, <laughs> let's see. If Dodgers play the Cubs in Japan, you're going. I think they are, so get your trip going. Yeah, Michael is going to be lit up. Oh, I can't wait, Ryan. You wondering, Quintero are in Arizona. Yes, they are. Uh, what do you think of um, Carlos's performance? I'm sure his stuff was good enough for him to be level, but if his command is that good, it'll be more than sufficient. Yeah. He he definitely needs some more velocity. I think what was he hitting ninety two, um, something like that. Uh, I think he probably needs some more. There's probably more in there. He's still growing. He, he not tall wise. He's six foot seven. There's some more bulk to get on him, and he is. He did have. He had a lot of injuries in in college, so he missed a lot of time. Anyone else uh, using a Bucky's tumbler tonight? Where is it? I got to get over here. Where is it? Where is the camera? 
Where is it? There he is. Get your Bucky's tumbler, but you got to go to Bucky's. They are building a Bucky's in Arizona. In um, Arizona near spring training. So I am super excited about that. Um, if you haven't been to a Bucky's, there's just nothing like it. <laughs> there's nothing like it. There, I've been to, a, I think, three different ones in Texas now. Um, and looking forward to going to some more. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Bucky's legendary. In and out versus Shake Shack. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I still prefer in and out but Shake Shack definitely, I, they have really good burgers. Um, pricier than in and out Shake Shack, you know, has some good milkshakes, but I love in and out milkshakes too. Uh, I don't eat fries, so that's not a loss, but my wife definitely is a Shake Shack, loves their fries. Um, but overall, in and out is so consistent, I could eat it anytime. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Shake Shack, it's really good that Dodger Stadium has a Shake Shack, which they didn't before. Uh, you know, they, they got that a few years ago, and it's one of the best things that they have. Um, really cool if they had it in and out too, but Shake Shack's great. Yeah, next time Otani is on a plane to Toronto, it is to play them. Preach, Alexander. Oh, you have that Bucky's Tumblr? Yeah, player? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I have a smaller one too. I love my Bucky stuff. I even have a hat. I'll wear it sometime. Okay, hepatitis C later with some facts. Jamba Juice needs to be in Dodger Stadium. Yes. Oh, man, because on a hot day, there's nothing like a Jamba Juice. Um, you just can't. It, it, they're so, they're just perfect for when it's really hot. A little th fact about Jamba Juice. Um, one of the founders is a guy named Kirk Perrin. Now, he he passed away a few years ago. He re regretfully fell in a shower and and died. Um, he went to my high school. He graduated from high school. Real quiet guy. He had a twin and um, and an older brother named Todd. His sister was Laura. And um, yeah, he was just a real quiet guy. No one knew. Then he went to Cal Poly Slow and started Java Juice, Java Juice, Jamba Juice in Slowtown in San Luis Obispo. And with three other dudes, or three other people. I don't know if they're all dudes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yes, Jamba Juice. You can't beat a 550 double double. I thought they're still under, I thought I saw 490 or 485 or 495 last time I was there. I'm in San Diego, so who knows? It might be a little different here and there. But yeah, it's such a good price. Um, you, it's value. And I there's just something about it. I don't know. Maybe it's just some of the good mojo. It's 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 one of my favorite companies. I mean, In and Out is the best company, I think. Um, Discount Tire, if you don't know, you don't. If you don't, they're just amazing at what they do. Costco is a brilliant company. Bucky's is brilliant. I would love to have a Bucky's. It's just a great thing. And um, those are like my top four companies. I, I wish I could. I almost tempted just to go. I'm retiring. I'm gonna start working at In and Out as an associate and work my way up. Kind of wish I would have done that uh, coming out of college. It would have been cool. Um, great employees, great place. Yeah. You can see you've never been to Bucky Tumultly, but your wife brought me here some pajamas from there. <laughs> nice. Any thoughts on the gondola project? Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't like it just because of McCourt. I like the idea of a gondola. Um, if they can run a gondola at Disney World, where there's a lot of thunder and lightning. And they do have to stop it. They have to empty it out and stop it. Um, when they see it coming, they can't use it. But it's it's pretty cool. I, I would... Um, I think we need stuff like that. I think that, you know, we got a ton of people. And, um, you know, buildings need to be build, build up. Right? Need to build up. <laughs> And then um, we need to have alternatives. I'm like, I want to see like multi-level freeways and stuff like that. Or of course, we're still waiting for the, uh, you know, the flying cars. Um, been waiting for that for a long time. Or the, uh, was it Back to the Future with the, the skateboard thing? Hoverboard, that's it. Yeah, Shake Shack has some tasty burgers, but kind of small and pricey. Yeah, I won't say no to it, but I don't go out of my way for it. Uh, my wife and I will go out to Shake Shack every couple months. There's one about, call it 25 miles away, and we'll go out there for that. But 
Um, but usually we're, we're doing other stuff too. I think last, yeah, last time I went there was Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, you get the, oh yeah, you get your dog with the poppy pat for a couple bucks at in and out Yeah. Um, try their hot chocolate. If you haven't had it, it's good. Even though it's water-based, it's still really good. Puppy patty. Yeah, okay. Pop, puppy patty. Whatever. Well, Frank McCourt was involved with the gondola thing, so it being canceled probably saved people's lives. I know. Knowing McCourt, he's cheapest materials. Yeah. Ah, I hate the fact that he's around. Such a... Ah, dang it. <laughs> Y'all know where it's at. You all know where it's at with that guy. Um, just fortunate that, that the, the Dodgers were extracted from him. He probably lost us a, a couple of, a couple more opportunities at championships though in the late, um, two thousands with his cheapness. CC Sabath, he would have been a Dodger in 2008 at the end of 2008. Um, uh, wasn't for him. Just if you, re- if you haven't read Ned Coletti's book, you really should. Yeah, I think it's really good. I, I really enjoy those books. I also like, um, Tim Neverett's book. And I actually have a link to it in my, to, to buy it. Take a look in there. Fat burger. Oh, we actually have a fat burger here in Escondido. My wife and I love going there. It's really good. And it's always empty, which sucks. Yeah. Did I see what Pete Rose said about Otani? I heard about it. Um, Pete Rose can, yeah. He's a bad dude. Um, at the end of the day, in general, um, really good baseball player. Yeah, there, there, there's yeah. It's really too bad. Um, yeah, never had fat. Yeah, it is good. I love fat burger. Yeah, give it a shot. The habit. I love the habit. Yes, they have great burgers. I also like their stupid little chicken nuggets too. They're pretty darn good. It's Pete Rose was the boogeyman, yeah. I love Five Guys Too Expensive. I know. I love Five Guys Too. Yeah. King Burger. Oh, <laughs> I did that once. That's a massive thing. Yeah, uh, Pete Rose, uh, hands off the kids. Um, right. So... All right, well, cool, folks. We've got a couple super chats tonight. Really appreciate that. Oh gosh, Timoli, yes. So, uh, great question. Will they announce who's on the Quakes and Loons roster part of the season starting, or just wait for the first game to find out? We'll find out on media day. We'll start finding those things out probably in Tuesdayish of this coming week. Um, I just saw one with the Rangers where they ha- they put the whole thing out, put their whole teams out. Why can't the Dodgers do that? They got to put everything double secret. Um, so drives me nuts. So I'll, I'll hope cause I, I, if the raw, if they have media day on Tuesday, I will not be going. It will be my 30th wedding anniversary. And, um, let's see. Anyone tried raising canes? I love raising canes. That sauce, the sauce and the Texas toast. All right, James, this is what I do. Because I don't like coleslaw and fries are meh to me. Even though my wife and people love their fries, I get their box thing, which is four. It comes out with four chicken fingers with one sauce. And then it comes with coleslaw and fries. I subs and, and one Texas toast. I substitute the fries for another Texas toast. And then the coleslaw for another one. So I end up with three Texas toasts. And so, so good. Who are your Untouchable prospects. Oh man, who are mine? <sighs> DePaula. It's got to be DePaula. Um, man. After that, I don't know, because it, it, you know it, it's rough. I like a lot of them, and part of it is. Um, The um, the way they work, I just want case these guys to get an opportunity, but I really think that um, DePaula is probably the untouchable. Yoander Vargas, 
Maybe. I haven't seen enough of him, though, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but people I've seen, it's got to be DePaula. And there's and one of the catchers. <laughs> I'm not sure which one yet. Um, yeah, seeing, yeah, Hope, George, DePaula against Angels makes me want, want to see more. Yeah, you should. Very exciting. Um, yeah, they're, they're all going to be playing together off and on over the next few years. It's very exciting. Yep, thank you for the congratulations. Yep. What is text? Thick slice of bread. It's just good. It's good. I like bread, so there's a weak spot. If I if it wasn't for bread, it'd probably be back down to like 165. All right, you got Dupalo, Bruns, Chung, or Jang. He actually said Jang. I asked him, even though Mombas go, goes by Chung. Um, and Lorenzo, okay? Makes a lot of sense. Cause I, you know, I think DePaul and Bruns are on the Dodgers list. But who knows now? Yeah, who knows? I think um, I think they might have gotten a real ripoff there, getting Jackson Ferris. Um, Devo, now that Smith is signed, do I think rushing Cartaya and Lorenzo will be on the move? Oh, not and. No, not and. There, there'll be some ore. There'll be an ore in there. Some of those guys need just, you got to move somebody eventually. There's too many good catchers in the system. And they're they're going to start blocking up in the, in two years. And it's going to be like uh, you're going to need a, a, a plunger for catchers. Steve, what's up? Man, hung on just long enough, man. <laughs> Glad to see you in. Um, Let's see. Love bread too. French toast is chef's kiss. Oh yeah, I, yes. <laughs> this is the one thing I need to experience because one thing I I've heard is that you know basically any bread that you get here is full of crap, right? Um, but if you go to Europe, it's doesn't have near as much junk in it, and you know all the all the poisons that they put into it. Sorry, the the if I if I I may need. If I need to, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it out. I'll bring the tinfoil hat out if I need to. But, um, yeah, they, in the United States, they put too much crap in our food. So, um, but I want to try some, you know, like some bread from Europe, especially, specific, specifically France, French, from France. Um, yeah, do not. And, yes, Mike. And I mean, do not let this become a butch situation with the catchers. Yeah, play him or trade him. And he was on Miguel Vargas. Um, I think what Miguel has to prove in the minors is he can play left field. That's it. Make home running bread. I was thinking about that. I might just start doing that. But I want to find a good pure flour. I want to have something that's not, you know. Let's see. Rushing is a hitter. As a hitter, is Muncie to me? Yeah, kind of a logical heir apparent. Heir apparent. They try him at third. Yeah, I hope they experiment this year and quit playing his at the first base. Yeah, it doesn't provide any value in the future. He's too close. He's too close to the majors. I think to. I think he's two years away. Freddie's going to be there another four years, so it doesn't really work out very well. He pay Rob four million for my account too. Yeah, no kid. Yeah, he's he's a payback. Can you imagine? How nice of it. How nice is it to go, you know, I'm missing $4.5 million and I don't even know I'm missing it. Man, I, I get 50 bucks out of my account and it's missing. I'm not happy. I'm freaking out. Whew. Yeah. Hopefully that all starts dying down. Let Just let the process happen um, and let the chips fall where they may. I just want justice. That's all. I want the truth to come out, but I don't have much faith in that. I don't have faith in Manfred. Um, just look at the Houston situation. I think even look at the Bauer situation. And then with the FBI, um, uh, I don't I don't trust them. I'm sorry. Again, the hat may need to be brought out if we're going to start talking FBI. Um, but I don't trust any of them with these investigations. So I don't think we'll ever know the truth. I think with baseball, and I look at it this way, I think actually um, I have a feeling even if Shohei had some guilt, 
they're going to bury it. Shohei Otani is too freaking important to the, to the league. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, it's kind of like all the, you know, there's there's some steroid things about LeBron. Who knows if they're true? But um, there's no way the NBA is letting that stuff out. LeBron's too important. Yeah, I think Otani's gonna be fine. I do too. I I don't think I it, it, it just speculate my own speculation. I don't I don't think he's did anything wrong. Um, there there I don't think he did anything wrong. And um, I hope uh, Ipe gets some help, and I I hope they um, somehow can have a restored friendship. That's what I hope. That is my hope. So. Um, I know it'd be tough for Otani to trust him again, but it doesn't you don't have him in that role. You just he's your friend. But it's a good thing that we have Will the Thrill Ireton. Um, you know this whole stuff about uh, Ipe kind of uh, keeping uh, uh, being a barrier. It's a bad thing. That's not the way you need to be running a team. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, makes you wonder how what Ipe was lying about. And how long was he not interpreted? Everything. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I saw the saw the. Yeah, watch out, NS. Watch out, Ipe might be coming after you. Oh, you have alerts. That's good. Yeah, that's a good thing too. Though that's a better way to do it, I think. And just make sure it's not going down too much. Make sure that it's not something's not being taken out. You're not expecting, right? That sounds like a plan to me. Um, I usually check. I'm usually just checking my cash app for <laughs> EP Light about being Japanese. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I mostly sit there, watch my, my stocks or stonks, as, the, as some of the kids say, and my uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> not in really Bitcoin, not, not just crypto, but Bitcoin. That's what I have. I actually have some Doge. A little bit of Doge, very little. Actually, it's finally gone up. It was like to nothing. So Elon's Elon's crypto is doing better. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, tomorrow's a big day. Let's hope we don't. Uh, we should get it in. Might be cold, so hopefully someone's from this group's going. I'd really love to be there. Um. But um. Got to work. Got to work. So that's um that's where I'm at for uh <laughs> for this this time uh is making sure that I'm getting stuff done at work and making sure that uh yeah we'll we'll hopefully we can talk more about these things. He'd be an easy list to Kenny Rogers. Hey, you put the D in his name. He didn't have a D. Regretfully I was not related to him. You will be there. Very good. Very good. Elon doesn't know how to run Xwell. I actually like what he's doing. It's just a, it's, he's a, thing about Elon, he's, he's got that engineering brain and he likes to tinker. And first of all, I hate the name X. Leave Twitter, it's Twitter. I still like Twitter. And the colors is stupid. It's just, it's just, he's got, he's got the color scheme of a, you know, 1990s, you know, 20 year old man or boy, (laughs) young man. Um, but I like the way he lets things out there. Yeah, there's a lot of crap that gets out there, but that's that's the price of free speech, and I'm willing to pay it. I value freedom over safety. Yep, lots of bots on Twitter, every comment. Yeah, sure, but there's always been that. There was always that. Um, I just like the fact that uh, there's more people that can be on there. I, I do think, though, if he really wants to clean up Twitter, you make people pay, even if it's just a small amount. That that's how I I would if I were running it I would say if you want to post, you get X amount of posts before you got to start paying. Um, when you sign up, you have to have a credit card. And so that's what I would do. That's how you really prevent those bots. That's how you do it. Um, and you won't get the Tim Rogers one two three four eight nine ten eleven twelve ABC accounts. <laughs> Um, but that's what I would do. I would just start, I would just make it a very, a small enough thing so that the bots would have to pay 
And, um, but yeah, I would, I would make, I'd, that's how I do it. But then again, Elon Musk has a jillion dollars and I don't, and he's, I know people criticize him a lot and I, I'm not a fan of the cars. Uh, I'm not a Tesla guy. Um, I'm a fan of SpaceX. I'm a fan of, uh, of Twitter X. Um, yeah, I, as a, especially as someone from coming from the right, um, you know, I'm, I'm more conservative. Um, we had a lot of people thrown off and it's, it wasn't right. And people that were saying worse things were, were left on. So I just say, leave them all on. Um, even the worst of the worst, just make sure that they, they you they make that mute button needs to work and that block button needs to work. If I mute somebody, I don't want to see him ever. If I want to see him, I'll put him on, put him back on. But if I block somebody, I don't want to see him at all. Um, you think he'll buy out whatever company merges with True Social? Um, I don't know. I, I True Social, I don't, I don't think I have it. I don't think I ever signed up. I may have, usually if anything comes out, I'll just sign up no matter who it is. I'll just sign up with something just to have it in case it becomes something interesting. But I knew True Social would be weird. Um, the um, the whole thing about True Social, it, it's it's really let's be honest. It's for it's a way for people to invest in Donald Trump. He's the he's the he's it. And over you know in September, like him or not, people want to see what he says. And guess where it's going to be? It's going to be on True Social. And um, that's just the way it is. And so a lot of people, so no matter, I actually do not, even though I may be Republican, conservative, and all that stuff, I do not follow Donald Trump. Um, even though I think he's hilarious sometimes. But other times he's really frustrating and uh, and just ugh, <laughs> cringy. Um, but yeah. You're investing in Donald Trump then. Elon buy AMC stonk. Yeah, see there you go. So I can get my money back. <laughs> uh oh yeah. Is that was that from is that the movie stuff that um the Reddit guys did? Nando, was that it? I know we're kind of getting way off track, so we're probably done with baseball, but um is that was that, that whole thing? Was that part of that Reddit thing? Where they jacked up the, the stock and then whatever. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stocks to be honest with you. I wish I, I if I was smart younger, I would have had a lot more. But better to start much later than never. Um, yeah, so you know, at the end of the day, this country is run by very, 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 very rich people, which that money makes them powerful. Whether you're a lefty, righty, middle or whatever, it doesn't matter. You got the money, you do what you get to you get to get away with a lot too. Till they finally catch up with you. Yeah. Oh, AMC. Yeah, the GameStop. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Signed up with two thousand nine, used it once and never went back. <laughs> Is that was that an X? Okay. I use I use Twitter a lot. That's where I'm on the most. I have many, many accounts, but I have my Tim Rogers twenty eighty, which is my main account for baseball. I have my Dodgers 2080 account, which is for that. And then I have some uh, other things for politics. Made a decent amount. Oh, okay. You made a decent amount of those. Okay. We should buy Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> I bought my first Bitcoin um, <laughs> when it was like at 60, 63K. <laughs> it went way down. But I actually, I'm, a, I'm ahead now. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a bit because I kept buying quite a bit. I didn't buy a lot, so like a little over a thousand invested, but it's over two thousand now, so that's cool. But I'm hoping I'm just gonna hold on to it, I'm never selling it. <laughs> You'd be sending Tim super chats every day if you bought one thousand Bitcoin back then. No kidding, yeah, um, yeah, Justin, yes, 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 yes. Will Smith is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, tell me what I want. Yeah, it'll. P, it was Sean Puffy, Com Sean Combs. If you are rich, you can get away with a lot until it catches up with you. That's true, but it's not just him. 
There will be more. You know, it caught up with uh, Prince Andrew, right? Wait till they release the list. If you know, you know. Bought a pizza with a Bitcoin. See, that's at the end of the day, that's what it's supposed to be for. It's supposed to be a, a way to, um, to, to, you know, to spend, buy, purchase, you know, spend and all that stuff. That's what it's really for. It's really not to be an investment. That's what crypto is for. It's just, it's another currency, just money. But um, it's really turned into an investment thing. So I'm holding on to mine. I will not be doing any, uh, any more purchasing of it. That's for sure. Unless it drops down again, I will. And I'll just keep holding on and maybe some, maybe if, if it uh, doubles and doubles and doubles a few times, then maybe I will get to retire and just do this every day, which I'd love to do. All right, time to get to bed, folks. Um, hey, we're uh, a little less, we're less than, a little more than an hour and a half until um, actual opening day. Yep. Oh, you had a couple at 800. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you'd be in good shape. <laughs> That'd be nice. But hey, it is what it is, folks. We all have our regrets. Um, we all make good good decisions and bad decisions. Hope we make more, more good ones. So I appreciate you all. As always, I do... Thank you very much for, for being out here. I know we kind of wandered at the end. Um, Puffy Epstein. <laughs> oh, man. There's some sickos out there, folks. So um, don't be surprised. Anything that happens, there's, it, there's a lot of evil out there. And um, But I appreciate y'all. We have our wholesome Dodgers now. Hopefully they're all wholesome. Hopefully no one... Uh, Hopefully this is our only controversy of the year. Let's hope so. But appreciate everyone. Let's uh, move on and move into tomorrow. Um, and we will uh, we'll be back. I don't know when we'll be back at it again. We'll see. Busy weekend coming up with my anniversary and all that type of stuff. But um, I thank you, everybody. And as always, look in the camera correctly and be out of sync. God bless. And go Dodgers. <laughs>